Well, hey, 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 welcome everybody. I'm doing the live right now into the group and this is also gonna be available as a replay on YouTube. Hey, Christy, hey, Bernie. Uh, Christy, I just sent you a private message. Could you respond to me privately and let me know if it's possible? Um, or actually that's gonna take you off the screen. So don't do that. Just simply, I wanted to know if you wanted to pop on in and share your experience at some point when I bring you on. Just give me a yes, we'll do that. And so I can distinct it um, or no thanks, not available for whatever reason, you don't have to explain. Sure can, fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, I'm gonna stop the share for the cover because today we're gonna do overcoming the fear of change. Hello, hello, hello. I wanted to acknowledge all of you gorgeous people in my community, our community. It is expanding very rapidly, particularly in the Facebook group. I'm so grateful. Thank you to all of you old and new um, who are sharing this space and creating it, the invitation to invite other people who are just as welcome here. And it's lovely to see you all interacting and connecting. So I wanted to jump on in and give you a warm welcome, but also connect you with some tools to be able to move forward. Because yes, we're awakening to so many of the, the so much of the deception that's going on, including the internal deception inside. So I wanted to be able to give you some solutions to step forward and particularly break down some beliefs around the fear of change so that you can be more in your power, recognize that what it is to be like more in your power and to move forward. Does that excite you? Give me a yes, 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 yes. Um, hi, Sue. Awesome to see you. Thanks for joining us live. And um, really excited to, I love, love it that you're all interacting there as well. <laughs> um, beautiful. Awesome. So here, here's the thing. You know, just like the, the image that I shared at the very beginning of this, you know, a lot of people will, we're programmed in the matrix to, to fear change. It's the, the monster, the, the scary thing in the dark, you know, the unknown. Um, and so we tend to sort of gravitate back to the devil we know, right? The familiar thing, the comfortable thing. It's not actually that comfortable though, is it? Right. It's familiar and therefore it's certain, which at some level creates some safety because at least you know what to expect. It's predictable. <gasps> Even if it's yuck, uncomfortable and really not what you want. <laughs> so, we, you know, this is relative to all aspects of, uh, of your life, all areas of your life. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Rachel. Lovely to see you all popping on in. Great, great, great. So overcoming the fear of change there's this, you know, what holds us back and keeps us connected to this 3D matrix that is, is giving away our power to other people, other authorities. And unfortunately, some people still consider the news an authority, <laughs> right? But anyone, it doesn't matter who it is, even a partner, a parent, um, granted, if you're younger and it's good to have that guidance, but you know, um, in, in the parental thing, I was just talking with a client yesterday and, uh, you know, we're talking about how um, someone had said, oh, I can't do that. My my mum my wouldn't appreciate that. And I'm like, well, gosh, you know, because this person wasn't young, right? Like young, young, like a child. And I said, well, how old's your parents? And like your mum. And they're like, well, no, she's been dead for 20 years. I'm like, oh, good Lord. So you're giving away your choices and your power for somebody who is dead. Granted, it's your mum, but like, hello, wake up. <laughs> right? So these attachments of the approval that we have, that we're still seeking for from parents and from other people, because we're giving away our power in order to feel like we are enough or we, we can make the right decision. Listen, we've got to let go of that attachment in order to be able to step into change. Otherwise, we're going to be giving away our power to everybody else, everything else that determines your decision making. And that's going to suck because no one has your best interests at heart. No one, not a single person on the planet. They have their own interests at their heart. Do you understand that? And that's not to say that all people are selfish because that's not true either. So please don't contort what I'm saying. But what I am saying is when you give away your power to anyone, any entity, you are just making yourself incredibly vulnerable to energies that will want to overpower you just like the monster, right? But it's you doing it. You give it away, right? So you, it's here's the thing. You want to lean in 
to the sovereignty of yourself. You want to lean in to even looking into those dark spaces that perhaps you haven't wanted to look at because they were too scary so that you can actually look at them, shine some light on them and give them some exposure so that that monster turns into a mouse. It's a really important aspect, but one that is so common sense and so simple, but most people are not willing to do it. They want the result without actually you know, really looking at that dark space and looking in. But when you look in, you're also going to be able to have meet that approval of your own self because a lot of people don't look in because they're in so much judgment, judgment. The judgment is like, if, if, if someone had a megaphone to your head, would you be a little bit cautious about who'd be listening in? <laughs> Most people are in that place, right? And I, me too, I've been there. I'm, I'm not there so much anymore. I don't go into the judgment anymore. I've practiced not doing that. I, and I'm very awake to that. If any time any one of us goes into judgment about self or others, we actually add fuel into the matrix system. We add fuel into the deception. We add fuel into the illusion. and I'm choosing not to do that. What about you? Are you choosing to be able to be in your power? Are you choosing to be able to shine your light so that you can, you know, diminish the scary monsters in the dark? Are you willing and choosing you, that you are enough? Are you willing and choosing that you don't need the approval of other people, that you, all you need is, you don't even need the approval of yourself because that assumes that you actually needed approval in the first place and you don't need approval. Huh, what a concept. <laughs> This is, this is all what's at root behind the whole scary monster thing. When we actually let go of all those attachments, there is no monster because the monster is in the head. The monster that we see out there, yes, we see legit monsters, but they're reflecting back the energy, the vibration that we're at in ourself. So if we want to make the change out there, we make the change in here and here. It's in the head and the heart. Is that making sense? Hey, Janice. Hey, hey, Bernie. Hey, everybody. Look at that. Awesome. Is this, is this, I know I went straight deep. I went to a deep dive poof, in a flash. <laughs> and a big part of that is because I'm actually training uh, with two, two groups right now. My, I've got my um, yearly, my continuous mastermind group, which is my Love Light Leadership Academy. And um, I have those calls a couple of times a week, most of the, for most of the month, six times a month with my clients, with the group. But I also am running a live boot camp at the moment, the Awaken Soul program. And we're deep diving fast, faster than I've ever done it before in the past with previous groups, which is really gorgeous and telling. One, it says I've done a lot of the inner work. So I'm holding a bigger capacity, a bigger container for a much more evolved group. And everybody's ready to be able to go through it really quickly at warp speed. The other thing it reflects is that everyone as a collective is rising up. They're rising in their vibration. So give yourself a yes, yes, right? And here's the thing. You want to be able to look at the, the things in your life that you want to change. Some of them are scary looking monsters, right? <laughs> but you want to look at them. You would need to look at them so that you can determine and choose differently, not push against them and resist them because that's a waste of energy and it's just giving it more energy and more power. What you want to do is just look at it and go with neutrality without being the trigger. Because the, if you are being triggered with any of this stuff still, what that simply means is that you need to do more of the internal work to integrate so that you can be a witness to everything without being in reaction. When we're in reaction, we're in the 3D. We're attached to the system. We're attached to the outcome, that, but attached to it with fear attached to it with fear. There's this, oh, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to push against it, or I don't want it to happen, so I'm just going to, you know, make all these choices. But these choices, if they come out of a resonance of fear, they're the worst choices that you can make. And you know this is true. Think back now to any time you've made that choice to go on a date when you had an intuitive, no, I shouldn't, but then you wanted some level of approval because you didn't want to upset or be seen as rude or, you know, be wrong. <laughs> so you went on the date anyway and whoa, what a cluster, mm, beep. <laughs> or maybe it was that job that you decided to take. You took it because it was the money or because it was the thing that was on offer now and you're afraid that you weren't going to get another job or it wasn't going to get better or you're afraid that whatever. But if you made that choice out of fear, it always bombs. It always bombs until you wake up to the fact that you are the, at choice. You're in your power and you get the power to choose even if it's a sucky choice. But here's the brilliant thing. You get to change and make a new choice. But you've got to be willing to change. You've got to be willing to go, okay, you know what? I don't like this. And instead of making it into this big monster, just go cancel, delete, 
make a new one, make a new choice. Now, some of those choices are a little difficult to make when we're entangled, <laughs> especially in relationships or finances or business partnerships, or even if it's a long time choice that you've been in the family unit or the friendship unit or the business or the job, whatever it is, yes, there's entanglement, but you can be a victim at that and let the monster overpower you, or you can be in your power and make a new choice. But with that choice, you have to be willing to float in the space of the unknown, <clears throat> which means you have to be less certain about the external stuff and more certain about your internal stuff, more certain that you are enough, more certain that you're a divine being of love and light, which means you're going to have to do more of the inner work to clear all the muck that's holding you back from believing that's true. Oh, shoot, what an entanglement. <sighs> have I made you dizzy yet? <laughs> are you feeling a little dizzy? <laughs> is this valuable? This is, this is where we need to all collectively get to, or you get to, go to a collective, uh, you're in your own space to join the collective or don't, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm, for those of you that are seeking, you know, well, how do I get out of this yucky space? How do I make things different? Well, you've got to be able to overcome that fear of change, which means you've got to lean in. Oh, you got to do the complete opposite of what you've been doing in the past, which is running away and avoiding. Running away and avoiding having those difficult conversations with yourself and with other people. Running away and having those difficult decision makings and acting on them running away and avoiding from actually choosing better uh, strategies that are going to get you a different result. It's like, well, no, better the devil, no, I will drink to de-stress. I will, you know, I'll, I'll stay in, the, in that relationship. I will, you know, I, I, will, I will bite my tongue and so it doesn't create arguments, but I'll settle or I will, you know, I'll stay in the job because I'm only week to week in my income and, uh, I'll just accept it. That's all victim mentality. And when you're in that victim state, you are letting fear drive you. And you're at, you're at the effect of someone else's choices rather than being in the law of causation where you are choosing for yourself. When you choose for yourself, you become that sovereign power co-creator and you start making things happen because you make the choice to make things happen and you act on that. There has to be an alignment. You need to be able to make a choice. You need to be able to have your feelings, your, your energy in alignment, harness that energy. So it's in a love frequency, not a fear frequency. And then you're taking that action. When you get that inspiration, you leap. You do not hesitate. The minute you let judgment, did I say that a little bit earlier? Hmm something to think about you don't let judgment disrupt you in the process of intuition flowing life force energy that is guiding you <sighs> i'm really passionate today i'm not holding back i'm just giving it to you so that you can really see it for what it is and you can make the choices in your power lean in shine a light on those darker places in your life the ones that you've been avoiding from dealing with they are going to haunt your ass until you deal with them they're not going away and every time you try to avoid looking at them, try avoid dealing with them and dissolving them, right? That's the better option. But if you avoid doing that, everything you try and do and have a positive future is going to have this overcasted shadow of all the energy that you were trying to suppress and all the energy that you're using to try and suppress that is being wasted and hemorrhaged on that so you don't have to look at it instead of using to create your bright, beautiful, potent, awesome future which is in the now. <laughs> hmm, something to think about. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this, uh, there's a question coming up. Sue, what about the opposite? Family won't have that conversation, just swept under the carpet. Awesome, Sue, you gotta step into your power. You cannot control, I'm glad you said that because you can't, one of my second points I wrote down as an intuitive hit today is stop dragging others along, even if they're your family. You know, here's, let me use this as an experience, right? So you can receive it mirroring through me take away from this story what you will throughout i'm nearly 45 and i'm so excited i feel like i'm actually getting younger as i get older because as i get more and more into my power here's a beautiful thing stress dissolves stress doesn't get to you because it's stress that ages you. It's stress that kills you. It's stress that creates the fear vibration. It's stress that keeps you stuck. It's stress that keeps you disconnected. It's stress and not knowing how to manage that, not just manage it to be able to placate it, but manage it to dissolve it, that will be a great disruption to your power. And so if you're letting any relationship, and in this case, family, right, create stress, 
you then you're at the effect of that cause rather than being choosing to create and being at the law of causation. So I had a, um, uh, a relationship, well, I still have a great relationship, or I have a relationship with my father. It's now great. But for probably the good first 42 years, 43 years of my life, it wasn't great. It really was, it was rife with conflict. It was rife with, you know, this disconnect and, and narcissism and, and a lack of, and a feeling of a lack of empathy, right? But on a soul level, it was the most beautiful thing that ever happened because it helped me step into my power. You know what? It took me time. I made the decision when, my, when there was a really, on a human level, a very toxic approach where through layers of deception and the chess mate game going on from being in a relationship with a psychopath who entwined and entangled all my family, I made the choice to disconnect from everybody while I was finding my bearings and stepping into my power. Painful, super effing painful, but it was necessary. And when I did that, I was able to step back into my power and be in a loving energy. And it was still a journey. It was not done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's never done. It's a process. It's a practice. It's a mastering, not been there, got it. It's a place of constantly being in your power, exercising your power so that you can hold a greater capacity for yourself and then for holding that capacity for others, including family. Let me share with you, this year, there has just been this wonderful click as my own father has fully wakened up, awoken. I don't care about, I don't need your approval if anyone goes and picks on me about my language. I make up words, I don't give a crap, right? So but my point is, take the message, is that my father woke up and then when he did, and because I, and the reason why that was, that was possible and available and he was actually receptive to my information is because I didn't reject him like he was rejecting me for so long. I did reject him when I was younger. But when I started waking up and doing the inner work, I stopped rejecting him for his role and how it should be and could be and must be and whatever. I started taking that care for myself and I started holding that space and that love. I started being that love hammock. I, did, I had healthy boundaries, so I wasn't, you know, being the doormat for toxic spewing, learned pretty quickly. He learned pretty quickly. I just wasn't going to deal with it. I did, gave it no reaction, no reaction. So it just dried up. And then for a few years, there was just neutrality and then pop awake. And now there's a beautiful relationship. It's finally transformed from that caterpillar to a butterfly. But there was a period of boundaries, isolation, the cocoon for me and them to be able to you know, go through that process. You're going to have to make some choices. I'm not saying that change is easy. And the monster is far worse in the space that you think you're stuck in. Far worse. Far worse. It's worth it to go through the journey. Awesome. Sue says, I like your language. Awesome. I'm trying not to drop F-bombs because, uh, or any curse words, because I do want to put it on YouTube. And I do want this to be available for people with their kids who are watching this. You know what I mean? I really want the kids to be stepping into their power. You know, I serve you as adults because I want you to be able to be in your power. But I serve you as adults because you're the leaders of the next generation. And our next generation does not need to be screwed up with any more deception and denial and programming. So, you know, like the caterpillar going into the cocoon instead of like, and then coming out as a butterfly, you know, in the MK Ultra of what they're doing with the deception and one of the programmings that they do worldwide, you, everyone's being exposed to it with TV, radio, frequencies. But here's the thing you can reverse all that. What if we made the cocoon? So, this is the reverse of the story, point three, making change different. What if going into the cocoon is deprogramming? Hmm. But you have to be very conscious and very selective, very intentional in order to choose to deprogram and unhook, unattach from all of the matrix and all of the deception. There is so many layers to the deception. Let me give you an example. Somebody sent me a message today saying, would I support a, a, a community that is um, uh, supporting domestic violence for women and children? Now, that's an area as an ex-paramedic and also going through that experience myself. Uh, I'm passionate about. However, I'm fully awake and I'm very aware that the very same system that is perpetuating the domestic violence amongst families is also got its balance and it's providing the same support systems to be able to track and catch those people to then be part of the, the same system, the same pro problem. You know, psychopaths don't come as a big monster. 
Psychopaths come as the charm, then harm. They present themselves mimicking empathy. They tell you what you want to hear. And if you don't have clear boundaries and stepped into your power, you are going to be blind to their deceptive actions, to all of their deception, to their lies and manipulation. But you know what I saw? The minute telltale and giveaway was the image that came with the program. Oh, dear God. Okay, let me, let me ask you, for those of you who are awake, when you see an image of a child with a person with the hand on the head and a child doing this, aha, those of you awake, isn't that like the biggest freaking clue? <laughs> yeah, not good. It's not good because like if people, if people are not awake to it, they get trapped into the empathy and the, the psychopaths will play at your heartstrings. But if you don't have clear boundaries at your heart, heartstrings and your mind's closed and you're blind and you're still looking for approval, you're afraid to step up because you don't want to be seen as rude or don't want to be seen as heartless. That's exactly how psychopaths work. They hook in. So stop fucking giving away your power. And stop being part of the problem in the system. Oh, very passionate today. <laughs> it's time to step fully into your power. It's time to be very intentional. It's time to wake up to all of the deception going on. It's time to unhook from all the attachments to the 3D matrix that is all part of the same problem, the same system. You're either awake and you're part of the solution or you're asleep and you're part of the problem. So if you want to overcome fear of change, you've got to give up feeling the fe like afraid of the fear. You're going to feel the fear anyway. There isn't going to be a point in time where you won't feel the fear. You just got to put bigger girl and boy panties on and feel it bigger because the fear gets bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger as you go through the transformation. It doesn't get easier. I'm just worrying you up. And that's not worry as in anxiety. Worry, that's worry as in, ha! Oh! Put on your cape, put on your wings, put on your angel DNA upgrade into your angelic DNA and make that choice. And it begins with choice. No one is going to come and rescue you. No one is going to come and just, you know, give it to you on a silver platter. No one is just going to go, here's the golden wand, tap. Oh, now you've got your vision for life. No, you've got to go through the process because it's through the process that you learn how to harness and master your energy and then you're in your sovereignty, right? But you're in your sovereignty the minute that you say, I intend to be in my sovereignty, I stand in my free will, everything else, nope. I'm not giving away my power anymore. But I'm doing it with love. I'm doing it with a frequency of love. A love for myself, a love for humanity, a love for life, a love for my greatest higher self, a love for the greatest highest collective of all of humanity. And that's going to mean having some charts bar to be able to call some actions, to be able to have some healthy boundaries so that you're not having any cyanide, not a single drop of cyanide in your water to drink. Because once you have one drop of cyanide in there, including from your own self, into your environment, you're polluting that and you are not going to be able to make those transitions, those steps to move forward, that action, being that vibration. It'll lower your density. So this is a really very powerful message that I'm sharing with you. Just It's time. There is no other better time than right now to step into your full power. Give up the need for approval to make the changes. Give up the need for waiting for the perfect time and all the ducks to line up. Okay, I'm going to drop an F-bomb. You know what I say about that whole rhyme about, you know, you know, whole saying about, you know, the ducks lining up? Fuck the ducks. Take action, right? Just do it and, and, and step into that space, priming yourself by being in a consistent action of choosing you, choosing the highest version of you, not choosing you from fear, choosing you from a place of love and sometimes that's going to take some big chutzpah to make those choices and follow through on the action taking so that you can hold that healthy space for you when you do that it becomes a super duper power because you know what people go "Ooh, ain't uh, i ain't going to try and project my own crap onto this person because this person's not willing to accept it because they're just actually they're really truly in their power Margie says, my iPhone would say duck the ducks. <laughs> awesome. So I really wanted to kind of, you know, jump, jump on, give you some like meat today. Like when, for those of you who are vegan, I apologize, but you know what I mean? Some real 
you know, solid content that you are, and with, with the passion and with the leadership that it takes to make that transition, that evolution within yourself. I am not going to pussyfoot around it. And if anyone ever tells you, oh no, it's easy to go through this. Well then fire them, ditch them, walk away because they're lying. It's part of the deception, right? And that includes with yourself. Give it up. Let go of that attachment of waiting for it to be easy, waiting for it to be more simple, waiting for it to be more comfortable. Okay, here's a saying, write this down, tattoo it to your freaking hand. Get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's the journey. And here's the beautiful thing. When you're comfortable being uncomfortable, you're in your power because you really don't give a crap about, you know, all the attachments of approval and, you know, the fear of change. You actually get excited about it, right? And you really don't care what people are saying, not because you don't care about them as a human. You don't care about the message because you realize it's not personal. It's their projection of their own stuff. You see through it. So you see when you wake up and you're in your power, it's like someone just downloads a whole, you know, goggle that the veil lifts and everything's transparent. Everything's transparent. And it also makes it even easier to be able to hold your power because you're holding it with a lot more compassion because you can see people's BS going off and it's not about you. When, when you realize that their stuff is not about you and it's not personal, you, you can realize, okay, you know, that's their stuff boundary. This is mine. I'm making this choice. Let them keep their stuff. Stop trying to rescue people or drag people through or telling them what to do. You know, if people are actively seeking guidance, great share away, light the path up. But if they're not, leave them to their willful ignorance. It's their journey. Don't cross the boundary. Simple, but not so simple, right? <laughs> it's simple to understand it up here with the information. But the hardest journey that I've ever made in my life, and I share this with all my clients, because I've been, I've traveled the world to seven continents and, and 58 countries, some of them multiple, multiple times. I've even been ice mountain climbing in, in Antarctica, right? Like safaris in Kenya and all, and, and I've, I've, tra and I've been to India and ashrams and I've done all these things, but it doesn't matter. Here's the point of all the journeys I've ever made. The most difficult journey I've ever made is shifting from my head from the, I know this into my heart and being it, being it, not doing it, being it. And that takes practice. It takes consistency. It takes an intention. It takes free will it takes a willingness to learn and ha to harness and master your energy and get better at it and get better at it you'll suck at it at first you'll completely suck at first and that's okay let me give you an example the other day i was making gingerbread man for my little one i didn't follow the recipe properly and so i burnt it and i didn't make it right and i made it again not properly didn't follow the recipe wasn't learning <laughs> thought i could just you know will it my own way but there is a science to this right I, I, there was a moment where I felt like, oh my God, I absolutely suck at this and I fail at it, right? But then I realized, oh my God, so many people feel like that over these skills. And here I am over to gingerbread man, <laughs> but I got the lesson. I got the lesson that there is a science to everything before you apply the expression of your own artistic expression. You still apply that, but you still, there is a process. And when you follow that pattern, you get to effectively deprogram from the matrix with healthier programs, if you like. But if you don't follow that process, you're gonna go, well, I know that, but you're not being it because you're not following the system. Make sense? Is that valuable? I hope that landed for a few people. Christy says, I love that you made them twice. Oh. <laughs> I'll be challenged. I'm regrouping myself to make the next gingerbread man. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so Christy, I'm gonna, um, you know, I can feel that this has been pretty awesome. Like I've just gone off onto a fair or well, rant, if you like, and I've um, really just uh, gone into it. But can I invite you, Christy, I'm gonna send you a private message with the link. And I'm gonna invite you to come on because it was only three weeks ago that, um, oh man, we've all watched you shift so much. In fact, there's you know 37 people in the group right now. I'm running the Awakened Soul program. It's closed right now, you can't come in, um, sorry. Well, sorry, uh, you're too late, but there is an opportunity coming up. So if it resonates with you, I'll tell you about that in a moment. But if it doesn't, you don't want to, that's okay. Don't care. 
right? But I'm looking for the people that are looking to resonate. For I don't care to sell you anything, but I'm opening up an invitation to people who really want to connect and step into that space. And so I'm sharing with you uh, right now, Christy, come on in. Christy, uh, I know that your message will share and uh, be amazing with other people. Hey, gorgeous, how are you? Good, how are you? Awesome. You know, this is always takes it from this next dimension from me speaking to myself in the camera to now all of a sudden I've got somebody in the room. <laughs> As you were hearing that download of everything that I was sharing, what really spoke to you? What really connected? What was what was juicy for you? To say? Um, I, I've absolutely loved this morning. So on so many occasions, I am told by people, "Why do you?" not give a duck basically um and not buy into a lot of people's stuff and i just i don't want to carry the weight of it so when i'm hearing you say set your boundaries and you know really enforce your boundaries for you because ultimately you're giving the respect back to that person i was like makes so much sense i i initially thought many years ago it was maybe because i didn't care i did care but i didn't realize that I just made, I, I was automatically doing it. So um, to actually hear that I was still not here, not here as in hear the words, but to actually feel that, yes, I was still caring, but doing that process automatically was like, oh, my God, yes, finally things are starting to make sense because for, for too often people would say to me in family relationships, um, intimate others you know why are you not triggered by that you know such and such said and I'm like yeah but they can say that I don't have to I don't have to take it on I don't have to believe it I don't have to live it yeah they're entitled to it exactly. and so much so the last Katie that the last few days I've had a ball on social media <laughs> like an absolute ball because people are getting triggered by my posts <laughs> and I'm by their response I'm like no worries dude I love your model of the world if you don't want to you know if you don't like what I'm posting don't read it delete me have fun you know but I have no ill feelings and I'm I'm really enjoying that part of the process because it's it's I get all um, emotional at the moment because it's it's freeing Woo! liberating <laughs> yeah it's absolutely freeing and, it, and it's something for for my my heart versus for my head. Do you know what I mean? Like 100%. the level of stress. Um, maybe about five weeks ago, if not longer, we were having a few DMs. And um, without going into the detail, I was feeling a lot of stress at that time. And I've just completely transformed that level of stress to I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the right now and I'm looking forward to what's coming but I'm okay that I'm right here. Nice job. Awesome. Everybody. I know that there's clients in the, in the room Thank in the house you. watching this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new to watching any of my lives, um, it, you know, when you come into my programs, I help you get this really anchored in your body. I show you how to biohack and look, take this on. This is a yes. Yes. You biohack the whole winning strategy. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. So let's share. Let's dig in a bit deeper. Five weeks yeah. ago, we're now three weeks into the Awaken Soul program. What shifted for you between five weeks oh. ago? What created the shift? I know there's layers. I know it's what, not easy to say it's one what thing. Hasn't, what hasn't? So <laughs> I was in a, I've been in a, oh, I had been in a fairly dark place for a period of about six months and slowly doing a little bit of work, but not, not anywhere enough to, you know, pull back the, the level of the onion to actually see that there was nothing inside to actually be stressed about mm -hmm. um, and pretty much since since I've been attending all of your lives and now doing the course um, I'm ripping those laggers back and every opportunity between the kids sleeping or I'm you know yesterday I was struggling to get my hundred uh, my hundred ways to love myself I was at number 13 when I put my post up and this morning I'm at 75 and I'm like I'm sitting at my desk and I'm writing flat out and in every nook and cranny I'm spending time for me to peel back the layer and go, you know, what does this mean? What is the impact? How is, how is it affecting me? Yeah. What resources has Katie given me? And you, like, I'll see if I can quickly turn my screen because I'm on my phone. <laughs> you see my little affirmations that these are all the things that you've taught us, Katie, that are, that are on the background here. And I've put them, I put them in, uh, in like I've, I've laminated them, I've printed them out and I've laminated them. So while I'm at my desk, I'm constantly looking at them and, and just reaffirming and going, 
you know what, this makes complete sense. And the, there's one thing I'm still working on, but I know that I know that I'm gonna I'm gonna crack the nut. Just one thing, girl. That's awesome. <laughs> one major thing there's other little things but there's one major thing that i'm you know i'm just uh seeking the whole the whole clarity on um but definitely taking major action steps on that daily too are you open to sharing what that one thing is it's the issues in the current relationship all right we'll leave it there because this is public yeah. so let's not do that but um <laughs> not here we can do it in the other <laughs> yeah yeah thank you no, oh, thank you. Thank you. No, this is amazing because, um, it, you know, this is why I do what I do. I love it. I'm an activator. I help people to really step into their power because I've been through the whole journey. I just had a conversation with somebody earlier today and it was a guy. And was, I could feel and sense, that, you know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, gentleness and vulnerability, but incredible strength in this person. But what I had was in insight was his journey was a direct reflection of my own, but um, probably still seeking a little bit more of the answers and um, but it, very much in his power and uh, you know to from the almost a stranger's point of view says I've been watching you and you, your ability to hold this space is so rare and my here's my response I don't believe that the ability to hold the space is rare I think that the willingness to do the inner work consistently is rare so please, yes anyone listening to this please receive that. This is available for you. You can do this. You can be in your power, but there's a process to it. And as long as you stay asleep and unwilling to actually go through that process and do the inner work with the actual strategies that work, <laughs> then, you know, it's going to be painful, you know, be stuck in that space trying to overcome the fear with the same old strategies. Bang, 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 bang. Now, Christy, had you been doing that before in the past? Same old strategies, same results. Um, same old strategies. And so, Katie, some of the stuff that you've taught me, um, I have mentioned, not not the way you've taught, but the concept I have learned before, mm -hmm. but I did it and I parked it. And the one thing that you've really um, ingrained in me is don't park. It's every day. It's a constant work. It's a work in progress. It's an evolution. And my heart knew that, but my head was like, just do it once, you'll be right. You know, just do it once, you'll be right. And I, and I stopped, I stopped, you know, thinking from here and I started thinking from here, thinking that it would be okay. And it wasn't, yeah. it, it so yeah. wasn't. It's a spiritual fitness, right? And like, yeah. you yeah. know, um, most of us, when we have a, a, a fitness body or we go to a gym, we actually have a high level of accountability and a higher level of standard of operation. We like, we made the effort to put the clothes on, get out there, go. And so we train a little harder, but if we don't actually create that environment where you have that accountability, yeah. it's too easy to just think you can hide, but guess who loses out? Right. Yeah. No one else, you know, no one else gets the, the drawback. It's yay. Right. And then not you, you, but like, I'm just collecting. <laughs> <laughs> so and you know i hear that a lot i hear a lot of people who say wow you know i've been through all these different, look i've been through i've invested half a million dollars in my training over my life that's why i i, I could I, i'm like why are there still so many people who are not activating what's being taught whether it's business or because i do many business courses and i'm always like the, the ask for the testimonials for my levels of success because i go and activate and then there'd be like you know personal stuff like personal development when the people are still stuck and spinning in their stories and i'm like well, you know, I could do, after doing so much, I saw the patterns, I could see, okay, well, I can see how to actually bring this all together in a way that it creates a natural progress. So when, I, when you come into the Awakened Soul program, that's like the emotional mastery, the energy harnessing and mastery. Then I have the Soul Goal Academy, that's the self-leadership, that's priming you to prepare yourself to recognize you are your first business. Whether you want to work for yourself or not, whether you want to work for someone else or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you're on welfare, you've got to realize you are your own business. And there's yeah. a way of being to do that and harnessing your energy, time and money to be able to do that. So, but you can't do that. You can't harness that and that speed and acceleration until you learn to drive the car. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. The Awaken Soul program. And then for those of you who are new or listening to me, I have another, I have a, quite an ascension process because after that, I then actually teach you the business skills online, how to turn your ideas into income with my Confidence Clients Cash Kickstart program. Um, and then I have high levels of how to actually master even more with that, with your energy, bringing it all in, energy, your business marketing, your personal marketing, whatever you're doing, like that communication skill set with the self and with others. I have the Love Light Leadership Academy Mastermind Group. There's soul retreats, though. They're on pause at the moment. <laughs> Bands are lifting. There's a, there's a journey. So I create that ascension process for that cont continuity, that environment that keeps accelerating. It keeps raising the standards, keep raising your spiritual fitness, right? Which is really powerful. Christy, what's probably some of the best things that you, um, one or two key shifts already in three weeks you've got three weeks to go in the awaken soul program what's some of the two biggest ahas that you would share with someone else so that when we open up the doors again which is going to be very soon in fact i'll be posting a link soon and i'll tell you what is available for those who jump in first in for the early bird for the next one that we're running on the 8th of june but what are the two what's two really amazing things that you would say to somebody don't hold back just do it why Okay, so the first one was um, when, when I first got introduced to the program and uh, most of us will all say money is a problem. Well, I, money was my biggest problem. And Katie pretty much said, just put out there that you can make it happen. And so I did put it out there that I can make it happen. And I was very lucky that um, a dear friend of mine sponsored me into the program. And that was not something that I um, expected or even anticipated. So I trusted in the process and went, I'd love to do it. I can make time, even though I was homeschooling a kid and I've got an 18 month old and life's crazy. Today's last day of homeschool, by the way. <laughs> um, but um, I, I accepted that I could make it happen. I didn't know how and, and it just came, it, it, it came to me. So it was, it was being open to the universe to bring in the gift of. So that was the first one. And then the second one is actually applying the technique, like the, yes. the daily transformations, the daily transformations. I could, I honestly couldn't pick out one because they're happening consistently. And um, it's especially around, around giving love for self and for others, no, no matter what. Um, I feel like I was always a loving person, but there was judgment and judgment is judgment sneaks in, but it's pretty much gone. I, I just have an accepting of and knowing that I'm, I'm here for, for this moment to experience, you know, the, the, this awakening that's going on for everybody. And it's, it's, it's a constant Katie. Like there is, there is not one little thing because there's so many little things that are happening every minute of every day so i would just say you know if you're even thinking about it just do it <laughs> don't, don't even question it just do it and um enjoy the ride it's fun right we're only three weeks in <laughs> uh, everyone says um i don't know why i did it logically but it felt like i had to do the right thing and i'm so glad i did <laughs> so yeah that's, follow, that's, your heart, follow your gut yeah because i mean yeah, what the mind says the whole program is about aligning you again with your intuition. So I've just dropped a link again for those who are really excited about resonating with this. Maybe you saw it being um, open before when we, before for this program that we're running at the moment. Uh, those doors are closed. But I've just opened up the doors now to join Early Bird for the next one that I'm running on June the 8th, which will be another six-week live group bootcamp. You're going to get me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> In the group, you're going to get access to the members area, the Facebook group and live weekly group calls where I facilitate you through those energy transitions, clearing through the energy blocks and it's accelerated. So only do this if you're ready to make that choice for yourself to make the change. Do it with you're ready to shine that light of yours into all the dark crevices within yourself so that you can light that up. You can expand your capacity. When you do that, you can expand your capacity to hold space and healthy boundaries for what's going on, reflecting back in your reality called the world. Go on, Christy. Um, I want to share a fairly big one. Go ahead. And this is week sort of course and I'm going to send a private message about this if that's okay mm -hmm. um but week two of the course we had to fill in the wheel of life and financially I I marked off one or possibly two as how financial I was and not 
overly impressed with that score, would like for it to be like sitting up around a nine or a 10. Since then, Katie, an opportunity has come my way of over a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. To set up something that I've been very passionate about um, and had the idea and concept of and um, basically a financer has come to the forefront and basically offered the money. <laughs> I did not I did not anticipate that happening. <laughs> but going from pretty much zero to being able to set up this business now to have an income to support my family that will be you know multiple zeros per month income has um kind of blown me out of the water a little bit in a good way now i have to step up to the challenge but um yeah i wouldn't have even thought that would be possible six weeks ago that's awesome now you here's my challenge go back and watch <laughs> some of those pre-videos when i was inviting everybody including yourself to join us in the program i shared with you that trust me when you say yes to this and you clear these attachments that hook you to the 3d reality you open up all the doors and the windows of portals of possibility i this does not shock me this is it is so true <laughs> it is so true I, I got goosebumps because I remember I remember that video so vividly. Like, I I am like frothing at the bit. When Katie says she's going to do a live, I'm like, bang, sending you private messages. Where are you, girl? Where are you? Like, I'm online. I'm waiting. Are you coming? Like, I'm almost like your personal stalker. Like, <laughs> I remember that video very clearly. So when this happened, I'm like, no, I can't message Katie yet. I just got to get it clear in my head. No, I can't message her yet. But last night. You know, all the messages were, you need to send her the message and just clarify something. So, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Completely open to the universe and it's life-changing. Awesome. Well, thank you because you're now you're being a light for other people. They hear it from me. It's like, oh, well, that's nice. They hear it from you. They're like, shit, what? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got, I've got so, hundreds of stories like this. Here's the difference. Here's the thing. They're actually, these opportunities are happening faster in the program because oh, I'll share, as a collective can I, can I yeah? share one quick thing about that katie i've been a stay-at-home mum for oh six years now yeah and for six years i've been questioning what is it that i can do to make some money just to contribute to the house to my self-worth to to feel independent again all that sort of stuff constantly every day that question what is it what is it what is it since the start of the course since going through the process since opening up to the universe it just fell into my lap and it like that's not the o that's not the only one there's been lots and lots since the start and it's phenomenal can you send me a list because i and we'll have it we'll have some fun with that one that's really awesome. yeah yeah i'll make it i'll make the list for sure yeah, that's awesome and even look at go back to the videos of just a few weeks ago and look at your face in those videos there was actually <laughs> I think we did a call live where I brought you on and we, I didn't we go did. through the balance. I was actually willing to do it, but then I realized it was quite personal. I didn't want to expose you to that publicly. Um, yeah. and, and for those of you who are new to working with me, um, my gift is available to everybody. It's not unique to me. The only, the only thing that might appear being unique is that I'm, I'm consistent with doing the inner work. So I'm accessing all my psychic gifts. We all have these psychic gifts and you experience them as you ascend into a high level of awareness. And like it's called 5D is one term of it, but it's just a high level of awareness. It's not a place you're going. It's, well, it kind of is. You're going into your heart, right? You're accessing your soul through opening up your heart and really experiencing that life force energy flowing. And then you get the information in the field. So when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, in a distance, email, video and video is more fun because then you get to experience the evidence of the shift real quick right <laughs> especially when there's a group with like 40 people in there it's undeniable about you know the valid the, the validation hooks that come rolling out it's like how could she possibly know that <laughs> here's the thing it's information in the field it's transparent it's visible and here's the beauty of it when you're awake there is no one who can pull a deceptive wool over your eye anymore because you see everything you hear everything, you know you it. it, you're in your power. The information is there and you're learning the skills to be able to decipher that information accurately, effectively, and how to guide yourself moving forward so that that person can just, you know, 
buzz off like a little gnat. Go. <laughs> right? It's not, not a big monster anymore. It's a gnat and you can release it. Um, Christy, thank you so much for these shares because it's just really oh, you're welcome. powerful and empowering. And there are people that are listening to this that this is going to be life-changing for them, just hearing your testimonial. And um, I'm really grateful for you. And I'm it's been life-changing for me. <laughs> awesome. Which means it's going to be life-changing for your family, for your communities, for the people that you impact and light up the world with. And so my invitation to anyone watching this, if um, you're watching this in current time, I'm opening up the doors to join us in on the 8th of June. If you jump in now, again, instead of 997, I'm making it available for 369 US dollars, which is crazy. Christy, the stupid. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Even at $997, it's still absolutely crazy, right? But the skills that you (laughs) But I want people to access this with, the least resistance in place as possible. There is a payment plan, so you can jump on in getting started today for 111 for four payments, four monthly payments. But the, the benefit that you will want to grab and move mountains to do so is go and be one of those first 10 people. I can only open up to 10 last time it was 20, but I have 12 consistent clients a week and I'm almost full for my time space. Um, so there's only 10 spots for people who to grab the early bird paying for, you can also get a 30 minute one-on-one call with me. Christy, do you want to speak to that? (laughs) All I can say is jump in now, get that one-on-one because that was one of the biggest shifts and it was pretty much within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll go and I'll go and actually check the timing on that, but it was pretty much after that shift that this opportunity fell into my hands and then I had 24 hours to make a decision as to whether I would accept it or not. So um, all I can say is jump in. It's completely, completely worth it. That 30 minutes was phenomenal. I actually asked Katie, how much is it to do it? Because I need it without the course. I just need to do it right now. And she said, oh, if you can do the course, I can't afford the course. Just how much is that? And the course, as I said, a dear friend sponsored me. So jump in, because that was the best. that was that was as much value as what I'm getting out of the course in that 30 minutes. So, well, just to give you a comparative for everybody listening, that like if you want my one on time, which is the most valuable asset that I could possibly give away, because I'm giving all my skill set, I'm doing energy work with you, and I'm giving you my time at the cost of my family, doing creative work, working with a group, or yeah. doing other teams. So, if you want my one on one time, it's US $397 for a session with me, and it's 30 minute session. Now, some people go, what? that's a lot and some people go oh my god that's way too cheap every single person who does the call with me says that's way too cheap <laughs> because how much are you holding back uh while you know what's it costing you if you don't do it but here i am i'm making the opportunity for you to grab one of these for less than that price and six weeks training with access to all the members area for these tools oh by the way I'm doing the next killer bonus that comes with it, which I guess is probably not the right word to use, but it's like a no brainer both bonus. Right. And that's, I've got a second program that I'm offering that it opens up 30 days after you join the program is the away, the energized soul experience. And again, if you're new to me, I'm, I'm was trained as a paramedic, trained in psychology, chiropractic, personal trainer. So very much in the human biology and, and, and awareness of the energy field and nervous system, And so the Energized Soul Experience is like your spiritual first aid toolkit. It's a compact training with 18 tools that you can go to. Okay, I'm experiencing this system. I use this tool. I'm experiencing this symptom. I'm using this tool. And so it's a real power. That's a bonus that opens up when you join this program. Um, And I'm making an absolute no brainer. I'm taking away all the resistance because you even get 30 days money back guarantee provided you do the work. Now, I haven't had anyone want that guarantee back, but it's there. So if you feel like, oh my God, I'm just not sure if this is the right thing for me. Well, first of all, if you feel that, don't join. But if you have kind of any sense of, uh, oh gosh, you know, I just want to make sure that I've got some guarantee. Well, okay, you're still in the 3D matrix. That's okay. So I'm providing you, I'm wearing the risk for 30 days. You can jump on in, join the process, but you have to be accountable for hundred percent self-responsibility for doing it. Because again, one drop of cyanide in the glass makes the water undrinkable. And I don't want a single drop of cyanide in the group. Got my meaning. So (laughs) you got to take your whole responsibility. And Christy, the community, how has that, how has that been for you for serving you to move forward? 
Oh, they've been phenomenal. I um, Whenever I get stuck, I put a little post in and the girls and, and the guys, they're all there and they're either, you know, encouraging or giving ideas or suggestions or things to think about. And I think that's the best part because even um, one thing that my mum taught me from a very young age is if you don't know, ask questions, ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. So I always, I always put it out. Yeah, I always put it out to the universe or to whoever is in the group. And most people are online at least once or twice a day. And they're, they're helping, they're supporting. So it's not from the group side of things. You don't have to be there 24-7 because they're helping as well. You pop in, trust me, Katie's always in there and, and helping out. But it's, it's a teamwork when you're in there. And that, that's a really nice um, support mechanism because we're, we're making friends that aren't just going to be for this six weeks. I know that for sure. Excellent. No, thank you for sharing that. And to clarify as well for everyone listening, like unlike a lot of coaches that want to make you dependent on them, right? <laughs> My goal is to have you so independent you don't need me anymore. <laughs> and that includes with the group collaboration. I don't have, you know, I, I, if anyone tries to give me their power, I immediately throw it straight back and say, I'm not receiving your power. You need to step into your power. So if you want a coach like that, I'm your gal right? I'm your soul. <laughs> um, so for those of you that are witnessing this and you're like, yeah, I really would like to be part of this, go and check out the page. I've dropped the link down below um, and I'll put it up on the top of this or in the YouTube box. I'll put it down below. Hit Smash the love button. Hit Leave a comment. Um, check out that link. Go sign up. Register today. Grab one of those early bird um, spots it genuinely is only for the first 10 i literally don't have any more time to bring more people in for that because there is an option for reviews like people and they go really fast for the vip upgrades they go super fast and so what that means is that during that six-week process for those that also choose to have the vip upgrade they also get one-on-one -on -one attention with me once a week throughout that process and so i accelerate you through your own personal transformation utilizing the group utilizing the members area utilizing the content but i really go deep dive and literally disentangle you from some of the core trauma wounds that have been going on and holding you back i can go in and with you help you clear that so uh christy thank you so much i honor you you're I welcome really honor you and i know that you're absolutely appreciated by everybody in the community like your level of commitment is so evident and you're getting the results for it so thank, thank you, you. Yeah. testimony to humanity for what's possible and um keep enjoying the ride oh and yeah i am thank you I look forward to seeing who's joining us in the next round and joining that community and up leveling. So thank you, Christy. And thank you, everybody. Give everybody, give Christy some love, pour it on. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks. And um, thank you for sharing. And uh, for everybody else, I really invite you really overcome that fear of change. You know, you, you want to make sure that you lean into that, that thing that you most want to particularly avoid naturally well I say naturally but that's the program that thing that you feel like you want to avoid and run away from lean in and deal with it you want to release all the attachments stop dragging all the energies from the past trying to predict your future based on past experiences quit it it's painful it's not creating something new it's actually trying to predict and stay safe it's like oh but you know I've been through that experience before or my family does this and this story those stories will keep you attached and so you want to make sure that you are uh, leaving those behind. So creating those healthy boundaries and then also reframing things so that you're moving, turn that monster into a mouse. You know, you know, like Christy was saying, Christy, you just shared just um, before we left, um, before we all actually go, you were like, you know, you started asking quality questions. You shifted the questions. What can you do? What can you create? And because of asking much better quality questions, you're getting better quality results. Now, again, a lot of people say, I know this. Now, if you're saying that, you're stuck in the program. You're stuck yes, get out in the 3D matrix. You've got to be it. And in order to do that, you need to release the attachments. And that's easier said than done. You can do it. But if you're choosing to accelerate that process, jump on in, join us now, register for the next training, because when those mm -hmm. doors open up, the rest of the experience closes for everybody else. So signing off, much love and light. Enjoy this, share it. If you love this and you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you know, if you're in the Facebook community, you know there's people that would love to be receiving these free contents and also the opportunity to join when they're ready into next level training, then invite them here into the Awakened Soul Revolution group. 
and revolutionize your life and your business with love. Much love and light and manifesting lots of miracles.